All right, guys. Brad. B Rad. Coming at you. Um, I'm not going to be doing a uh, Transformer review today. Um, my Magnus 259, you know, I'm not going to do anything else on it. I'm going to leave it up, but I'm not going to do anything on it. Um, I'm going to start doing everything here on my, on this channel. So, all y'all know, I'm going to do a little short review on this thing. This is a Galactic Village, um, Star Wars, Hawthorne Village. Um... This is the Luke Skywalker from the movie number four. This is his home, you know, where you see him in the very, very beginning where he gets C-3PO and R2-D2 and talks with his Uncle Ben and, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> These things average um, about $90 a piece. I do have four of four different ones. Really, it's really, really nicely um, detailed. Movie accurate, I would say. As you can see, you, got, you know, you got your little front doors. These things do have a gimmick, and I'll show you here in a sec. I don't have no batteries in it, so I won't be able to actually show you, show you, but I'll show you where it's at. Top view of it. It uh, looks real cool, you know, it's got the little satellite thing, what do you want to call it there? <clears throat> On the bottom, let me rotate it here so y'all can read. There it is. Star Wars Galactic Village Collection. There's my number on it. This little section here has a, where you put two uh, AAA batteries on it. If you hit the switch and turn it on, this section here and then this section here and I believe that's the only spot those two sections will light up on the inside of it to make it look like they're at home this is um I believe a really awesome awesome pieces to get if you are a Star Wars collector so look them up at Hawthorne Village um and then you know get them I got this one I got the one on Hoth where the um little battle stations at I got Yoda's place, and then in the very last movie, number six, I got it where they're trying to shut down the um, tractor beam thing for the uh, <clears throat> Death Star, where they get captured, you know, and have a little battle scene and stuff there. So yes, very, very awesome. I'll give you guys another really good detailed close-up worth every <clears throat> I'm sorry there worth every penny that you can pay for them there's supposed to be more the last one was supposed to be um, Yoda's house but they said there's going to be more to them so I can't wait to get the rest <clears throat> you know they are hard, hard plastic ceramic so if you do drop them they will still bust um, and these look really awesome if you put them in you know you get the, that big app ah, ah, and stuff like that you can use the uh, Hoth one and put it in it looks almost to scale really really good awesome uh, especially you know I got this one sitting here in my shelf right here beside me I got Deep Desert uh, Brawl Transformer wise you know you can get him either in his tank mode or if you put him in the transform into his robot mode I mean it looks so scaled using this transformer with this village you can almost re recreate some really awesome desert scenes battle scenes with this you know this being from the desert in Star Wars and this being from the desert style in Transformers you know it's I think it's very very awesome <coughs> Yeah, I just want to show you guys. Um, I got three other ones. I'll show you just... Well, I got some time. Why don't I just show you now? The Yoda's Village. 
Rough, these roughly range anywhere from sixty to ninety dollars a piece, with your shipping total. This is Yoda's. Um, he's still got the same gimmick. There's the bottom of it. it says Yoda's house from the Galactic. If you put the batteries in it, hit the switch. Um, the section right here in his front door lights up, and then he's got the little holes on the top of his house and stuff. As you can see, also light up. Show some light. So now that one's. <clears throat> you know, really decent. Here's the one I was telling you about. The battle scene from movie 6. Where they're trying to shut down the, uh... Ray to blow up the, um... Death Star. Now, you know, I'm sorry if I just throw something out on the Star Wars. I'm not really a huge, knowledgeable Star Wars fan, but... <clears throat> and then, you know, 360-wise, it looks really awesome. So, you know, you can pick, stand, um, they do come with little figures, little figurines. This one comes with, you know, who this one come with? This one came with, um, I believe Han Solo. Luke Skywalker came, no, this one was Darth Vader. Luke Skywalker came with the first one. Yoda came with his house, and then Han Solo came with the Hoth, um, village one. Um, they might differ it. So, if you go out and buy them, if you don't get the ones exactly like I do, um, don't blame me for it. Bottom look, just tells you it's the Endoro Bunker. Star Wars, same gimmick again, you put the AAA batteries on it. The little openings here at the top, there's some openings on each side. They light up. Looks really awesome. <clears throat> The last but not least in this collection that I did get was the Hoth one. Again, same gimmick. There's your Rebel base, they're telling you. This section here is the only part that lights up. Um, it shows, you know, that really big cannon that they have in the movie shooting towards, trying to protect them from escaping. Shows you the two genera the generators there on the side. And then the back just pretty much shows a iceberg style so yeah if you can um, look them up a Hawthorne these come with a certificate of authentication so they are true 100 licensed Star Wars products <coughs> ah. again um, yeah check them out I mean I love using this one with uh, you know your deep desert bra because they are in size comparison, especially when him transform does make it look really awesome. That's why I got my little scenery over here on the desk. I mean, even if you use Hot Wheels with it, it look it still looks really good. You know, this with a Hot Wheel. You put a Hot Wheel beside it with a couple of uh, other things. It looks awesome. So please, you know, go check them out. Um, shout out Wednesday vid. Post it up tomorrow. Um, I do have my eight shout outs plus a little bit more info of other things I plan on doing. Um, so if you do want to get into that shout out Wednesdays, you know, hit me up on a comment on my shout out Wednesdays and um, I will get you hooked up for future shout outs. Basically, my shout outs are just, you know, people I subscribe to, people that subscribe to me, and friends. And then I go on and just find random people look them over and check them out if they're really good awesome youtubers i subscribe to them and then let you guys know about it so other than that um keep it real here with the tf community um support everybody and uh if you're into you know marvels you know your star wars i love these little things i had to go buy doubles and triples of them again i'm playing with this one it's a general grieve awesome little things um, anyways, I can shut up now. Yeah, so, uh, have a really awesome Tuesday, and, uh, peace out.